Hello, my name is Mike Rayner, and this video is about how to install Oracle VirtualBox into Windows 8. The outcome for this video to, would be to download Oracle VirtualBox, install VirtualBox in Windows 8, and then configure default location of your virtual machines to a public VM directory. Of course, you could choose any directory you want, uh, demonstration just to show you how to change and control where your virtual machines are can be stored. Requirements in this case would be a Windows 8 operating system and administrative privileges on your Windows 8 operating system and the internet connection. Additional info would be at virtualbox.org and of course I have a little disclaimer that I say I try and do the best I can but sometimes things change and it may not work right. So back up your date all times. Okay on to the video. To download VirtualBox you go to the VirtualBox website which is www.virtualbox.org. Once you're there click on downloads and you get a choice of which VirtualBox to download. Now for Windows host it has to be this one x86 AMD64. You've got one for Linux hosts, one for Mac hosts and then of course one for Solaris. So let's just download this one. and ask you want to run or save. In my case I'm going to save it. Now the version we're downloading is 4.2.14. Once it's downloading we can just close here and we can actually just close the um, browser and we'll go over here to uh, search and we're going to go to file explorer we'll go to downloads and here it is so now we're going to install it to install it uh, either single click or double click depending on how your computer's set up the windows installer comes on and we're going to click on next and it's going to ask select the way features to be involved and basically I just put everything right on the hard drive so it doesn't you know you get everything there if you need any help or something like that you can look on your own computer click next and one of the things you might notice here is that VirtualBox runs in Python 2 point X and it's probably point two point seven I, I would imagine even though I haven't really checked into it click next. I'm going to create a shortcut on the desktop but not on the quick launch bar. Click next and yes and install. Now it's going to trundle around for a bit and you're going to get about five times it's going to ask for you to install different pieces of VirtualBox and a lot of these are network connections and this is so um, you have to give administrative permission so this is user account control so you're going to need an administrative account to actually install this so we're going to click yes for VirtualBox and it asks for the ser universal serial bus Oracle and we're going to click install here these are all permissions Oracle Corporation Network Service again install Oracle Corporation Network Adapters, again install. Now that's again about the network adapters, I guess we've got more. Click install. And now we've got finished. Now we can start it right here, but and it will start right up, but what I'm going to do is actually unclick with this install, do the finish, then go on into search right here it is there's no Oracle VM VirtualBox guest editions which you're going to have to use for when you create a virtual machine you put the guest editions on a lot of the virtual machines unless you're running a server that doesn't have uh, graphics into in it and right here is Oracle VM VirtualBox let's open that up here is the VirtualBox screen. I'm going to maximize it. 
we can create new virtual machines but what I'm going to do is go to change the preferences because I like to put all my virtual machines in one spot what I'm going to do is make make a public VMs directory you can make whatever directory you want you wish click on other and I go to computer local disk users public and I'm going to make a new folder and call it public VMs or virtual machines that's where all uh, new virtual machines will be created uh, until you change that but you cr you put your virtual machines where you want to you may not necessarily want them public but I like to control exactly where they're going and I, I make a separate folder for the virtual machines as opposed to just uh, putting them willy-nilly here in the in the user directory click OK here that is and click OK again and then you're ready to just go and create your own new virtual machine as long as you have the operating system if it's a Windows you need you need your license and that's pretty much it thank you